Do you guys have your favorite team during this TI? Place your bet at 1xbet. You will receive 100% bonus on your first deposit using promo code SNAPFIRE. So what are you waiting for? Trust your favorite team. Bet on your favorite team with 1xbet right now. I want to see how mid lane goes. Lino is such a dominant hero in this lane. What can Makoto do with the tree throw early? I mean, it really just comes, does come down to the skill element, doesn't it? Of course, Quinn, one of the better skilled players, but Makoto has been carrying the torch for SCA for quite some time. A little sad, we haven't... I think he's played it once alongside the Pugna, but we haven't gotten to see too much Makoto Storm Spirit coming out yet. Basically solo carrying Boom when he was uh, back as a member of that roster. He's been best mid laner for quite some time in C, right? I, I mean, Armel hasn't been I think been he's been the most two. improved player overall this entire year. I mean, this boy is looking incredible when he can get online and when he's got the confidence as well. Everyone from Gladiators recognize the importance of this fight. Duracho is ready with the corner, but the instant Delta split away from Talon. He'll still get an opportunity to use it onto the offlaner. But now 23 Savage, he's ready to go for the 10v10. They should be able to deal with Tofu. Gonna be cautious. Q's gonna be able to buy in some time. Attribute shift at the ready, so Savage will not be blown. It's required out of him in this game. Koto at least is relishing this small amount of time that he's got solo in the mid lane. Put a little bit of pressure on that tier one tower as this well. This is a gigantic done. kill. I think he does, especially with Ola here. That is a much needed kill. Savage, I'm going to bring down. But they've got the stuff to be able to make a counter initiation happen. Duraccio is not too far away. Instant TP's. One. Fuck, oh, in that long range stun, can he blow up Savage? Rancho is still hungry for it, but it doesn't look like they'll be able to convert. So, waste some TPs, and of course, we know that you know, as soon as I saw that Dawnbreaker picked up, I was considering maybe they go for the Silencer, but there's nothing really that's going to disrupt this uh, Solar Guardian coming in. Jabs is the one that's had the biggest benefit of a lot of these aggressive plays. It's not the box and the fissure. This could be a pretty good opportunity. Oh, the Echo Slam not just too late. Quinn slides out of trouble. Thing is, at the ready from Dyer. Tofu and Ace is going to lead the charge oh, only once again. Once again. Be able to pop this. Q will give him some separation. Just to be able to get the kill on the go to the counter on the echo. It's a pretty good combo. Can they blow up Quinn? And they will. That is a great start to Archer. Can he find the angle for the corner speed though? Over the right side, the waveform. Savage playing with gaming gladiators. And now the fish run to two. The perfect start is McCord is going to jump over the top of the chain control. Throughout your protector for the moment for the BKB, but they can continue to chase him down. AC is going to charge through from downtown. You might need the corner protecting Duraccio. In fact, it won't be required, but Ace in some He's danger. In fact, it's actually Celery that is the one in trouble. And Talon somehow, some way, find a incredible team fight. They take three, and that is all things to Oli's positioning. Ollie's positioning and Q's get all three. They're clumping off for a potential echo. They need the vision. Shadow Team will provide that. Could Makoto lead the charge as well? Look at the calling. Tofu in a close area. Could be devastating. Gonna be able to get the jump in. Bro, she's down. Makoto can cut ages. It's a great start for Talon. Duracho used an early BKB as well. Talon kiting over the right side. Okay, momentarily. We need to see what Duracho can do with his ult. He's savage. He's gonna charge over the north side. Duracho doesn't even get to play this team fight. There's Talon now. Could potentially get some more kills. Makoto stops the charge. Ace, 4,200 health. But when he has no heroes to play around him, it doesn't matter how long it takes to kill him off. There's Talon. Somehow they've got the net worth lead. They were down 7,000. Makoto careful not to pop his smoke on the towers. And ooh, how can we get the other yeah. Still pretty satisfied with that, though. They're really Makoto. split. They're going for their own kill. Jabs is isolated. Gonna be able to blink closer back to the T2 tower. Meanwhile, I mean, there's a straight chrono as well, so everyone else is stuck from bringing it out, but a join, and Duracho just gets a time walk away. Savage wants to jump on board, though, but the BKB is not the dead shot. Has he got the damage? He does. Waveform to confirm the kill, and Savage is not done just yet. Your high gun will not stop me. The Savage finds a double further to the south. Ice. 
Ace is isolated with so prior when he doesn't have any boys to play with. He can be vulnerable. Quinn's gonna TP him. Has to jump over the right side as the Acro Slam Ace can find an opportunity to charge away. But Quinn, he doesn't have the same capability. Tries to fly up to the high ground, but he's gonna be cut down. Just what is going on? Claiming gladiators, they are crumbling. So it's another thing that's just going to enable to they see Tofu shows himself. You know, simultaneous jumps to the right and left. Both supports blown up from four to zero. They're not messing around, Talon. They're looking for more as well. But under the cover of the Shadow Blade, Ace is going to charge into the middle as well. Got Chrono. So we'll have the Chronosphere. Savage with the Replicate gets going to be able to prevent Darkyo. They, they split away. Darkyo doesn't have a good opportunity for his ultimate. We'll finally do it, but it's a wasted Chrono. He'll get no value out of it. And now Makoto can hunt. Tofu stuck in no man's land. Freya, but it's a full lane of Rax gone, and potentially two. Wow. We'll look for the hold, of course. Charging. They're going to try and take a fight 3v5. You've got to buy back out of Quinn. He's going to get blown up with the crit throw. They're going to be cautious. A lot of damage onto the Morphling. Savage is in some danger. Finds the waveform out of the base, and what's the call from Talon? I guess. And this is going to give Talon now an opportunity to set up yes. around this top side. It's a jump. Chrono still on cooldown for another five seconds. Tofu gets blown up without remorse. Duracho is going to try and put a little bit of damage into Makoto. Charge from the other side of the map as well. Ace going to try and deal with Oli. Once again, 23 Savage looking to try and play around with the Spirit Breaker Replicate. Ace is in some danger with the purge. Great reaction out of the BKB from the Morphling. And again, Duracho will have zero damage inside the bubble. It is an all-out retreat. They've got to cut their losses. Quinn will juke up to the north. TP still down for a couple of seconds. Looks at into a Roshan that ends up giving them a really highly valuable thing like an Agnes Step to Aura Repression, right? Like imagine having two Chronospheres, for example, if they're able to secure top uh, Roshan after this one goes down. Hmm. Maybe smoke off. Not too late though. And Makoto is level 25 as well. Well, Makoto's reached that point. Smoke on smoke. as well. Doesn't want to let them get away, particularly Quinn. He's been pretty sneaky. Savage. Like Savage. The attribute shift to be able to work with. Not going to be able to blow him up for four zeros. Ace spies the Shadow Demon. But doesn't commit with the charge. Got the going to be cautious. They group up instantly to split away once again. Duraccio doesn't find an opportunity for the corner, but everyone is isolated. Makoto's away from the boys. They're going to need to find some way to protect him in the corner. This time, we'll clip through heroes, and that gives them the opportunity to kill off Jabs as well. Savage against the world. Can he do it for the instant buybacks? Solid Guardian back into the middle. Savage, of course, he has that second. So Down to the southern side, though, Ace gets some time to charge away, but the fissure stops him from escaping. The Rancho gets blown up as well. And now Quinn, looking like it might be a dieback, finds the blink at the last second. Gaming Gladiator is not done. A salary will also be killed off inside the river as up the high ground. Savage goes. Hey, with no Chronosphere to be able to play around, can they 100 to zero him? I don't think you can. 3,500 health and he got the wind breaker out of Q and now Quinn as well. Jumped on the not back line from the Kono. Forced into the double fissure. Quinn's Quinn down for over two minutes. And now the building's under siege. No Chrono for the defense. They can go for the end if they want Talon knocking one of the favorites down to start in the lower bracket. Top tower is under While attack. buyback's being used, they don't want to give this one up without a fight. This is starting in that lower bracket. A single series enough to be able to wipe you out. Duraccio! Savage! Refresher used for the double waveform. That they still can't is all in. she wrote. Talon and Savage take a freaking bow. What? I can't Comeback performance from the Southeast Asian boys. They are never out of any game. And they are in to the upper bracket as well. Can the real 23 Savage please stand up? Because he was the reason that Tal were able to get back into this game and then get across the line. What a way to be able to finish off this last day of day one of the playoffs.